Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 2.0.5, which I'm calling You're a Wizard, Harry. And this patch is all about cleaning up the experience for new users uh, and for new games so that you have a great clean experience with Sim Settlements. So I've gone through and redesigned some of the core systems, not in a way that's going to change functionality, but in a way that's going to eliminate some of the show-stopping bugs that people have reported early on in Sim Settlements. For example, the Twisted Terminal bug is now fixed because I've redesigned all of the world staging code, which is what sets up all of the uh, Sim Settlements hollow tapes and everything. Uh, I've most likely, this is one I can't confirm yet because I don't, I'm unable to replicate it, but the infinite looping holotape issue where you would just have to hit OK over and over again and you'd never actually get access to the holotape options. Uh, so there's a lot of bugs like that that have been fixed. So they're, they're things that took me quite a while to do, but maybe uh, don't have a huge impact for the majority of you. Uh, so I apologize that this patch is a little bit small in content. Um, but I will go over some of the changes that are here that might be relevant to the majority of you guys. Uh, so one thing we've done is the, the New Bugle News team has delivered dozens more art dozens of new articles to the paper. So if you guys have the New Bugle building, there'll be now new articles in circulation, including a new series of articles uh, called Help Wanted. Now, these will point you in the direction of some of the smaller side quests that many of you may have missed uh, if you're not into uh, talking to every single NPC and digging through every corner of the game this might actually lead you to some stuff you've never seen before in Fallout uh, and these will actually mark your map with the location nearest to that uh, the, where, to the point where you would start that quest so uh, check out and watch for those articles uh, now the reason the patch is named your wizard Harry is because one of the things I felt was missing most for new players uh, or maybe for some of you guys who haven't really dove into the options of the holotape. Uh, if you look at the city manager holotape, it's, it can be pretty intimidating, especially the zoning laws, which have a ton of fields that uh, maybe are a little uh, confusing as to what exactly they'll do, and maybe that kind of turned you away from doing so. But Sim Settlements is designed to play well uh, with all sorts of play styles. So what I've done is added a new uh, configuration wizard that will run automatically when you first load the holotape. Well, actually, it'll prompt you and ask if you want to run it. Uh, so for those of you guys who are familiar with all of these options and don't need uh, these things uh, automatically set up, you can uh, ignore the wizard. Um, and before I go to that, you'll see that I have a new reset all to defaults option. This will uh, reset all of the zoning laws back to the defaults that came with Sim Settlements. And the default of Sim Settlements is designed to, to cater to kind of the way I imagine the mod being played, but I know not all of you guys want to play it that way, and that is why I felt it was important to add this new tool. So if you go into Tools and you go to Configuration Wizard, it's going to ask you a series of questions that are based on what you might all might know about some settlements before you've even played it, uh, or just general questions about how you like to play video games, and it will kind of custom alter all of the different options in some settlements to match your gameplay style. So, for example, the how challenging would you like some settlement, or I'm sorry, settlement management to be? Uh, if you were to choose the first option, throw everything you've got at me, uh, it would set realistic build times on. It would set up the requirements so that buildings are all interconnected with each other uh, and things of that nature. And then if you were to go down and choose, is there a free build mode? It would turn off some of those more complex systems make the plots almost free, uh, and in general, just make the mod more about uh, building things as you want without any concerns of what's going on uh, with the settlers' needs. So there's all sorts of different options, and they're all configured in these groups so that you can quickly change things to match your playstyle with just a few answers to questions. So I think right now there are seven. In the future, I might add a few more based on feedback on this system. Now, I, th I assume one of the first things I'm going to be asked about this configuration wizard is, can you give a report of everything that it changes? And unfortunately, the Fallout UI just doesn't support something like that. You can't do messages that are that dynamic. So uh, what I'm going to do is for now, there is a forum post that will 
uh, include all of the details on how these options are changed based on your answers. And then in the next, in the next few weeks, uh, we should have that included on the wiki in a more involved format that will actually link you to all of the different options and show you the details of how uh, things are changed based on this. So for now, I will post a link in the forums to the, I'm sorry, in the uh, description of this video to the forums uh, to the exact spot where all of these options are described. All right, the last change I wanna mention is the change to the water technology tree under the advanced industrial. So that would be all of the buildings that upgrade from the community well. Uh, previously, only a few of them would actually increase the water output of the community well, and the rest of them would all actually reduce your overall water total, making a massive swing in your water, which I think just made for bad gameplay. So now going forward, all of your buildings that upgrade from the community well will at bare minimum produce the same amount of water as the previous level. Uh, so for example, now the brewery won't reduce your water, instead it will continue to produce that same 10 water that the community well did. So this will allow you guys to keep, if you want, upgrades advanced on automatic uh, and still rely on the community well as a source of water throughout your game. Uh, so that way it reduces those massive swings that were happening. So I, uh, if you have any of those buildings, uh, just refresh those plots and the modifiers should update so that you get the new positive water benefit instead of the negatives. Okay, guys, uh, as always, please read the patch notes for any little minor things that I didn't cover in this video. Otherwise, uh, take care and enjoy the month.